Welcome back to the channel guys. We're here in North Carolina, Seven Springs, and we're visiting cliffs of the new state park. Come join us. In this video, we will look at the entrance fee for this park, trails, things to do inside the park, and check out the campsites. Let's talk about the best part. The park entrance fee is free. Yes, North Carolina State Parks are free to the public with the exception of Fall Lake, Jordan Lake, and Kerr Lake. When we arrived, the visitor center was closed due to COVID-19, but park staff left map for us at the entrance of the park. Before we got started on the trail, I met up with William Davis. We spoke about the park, and I learned he makes all the sign across North Carolina. I'll post an official video of him in the link below. We followed Lake Trail from the visitor center. Lake Trail is a 1.9 mile trail with a natural and sandy surface with difficulty level of moderate. This trail was well shaded with sandy surface which makes this ideal for hikers and joggers. Alright Ruth, what do you think about this, this park and trail so far? It's nice, it has sand, I'm wearing sandals, you can't see but I'm wearing sandals, um, the trail's smooth to walk on, I think it's a long trail but it's nice so far. So far, we, we love this park. It's a little hot, uh, a little uh, humid, more than what we're used to in the state of Texas, but we like it. Tons of trees all around us. It's a beautiful park. Best part of this, it's free, free to the public. We're getting closer to the center recreation area. During the summer, this area is active with families cooling off from the Carolina heat, but this area was currently closed due to COVID-19. When open, this 11-acre man-made lake, you can swim, dive off a diving board, rent kayaks and paddle boards. If hungry, there's also a refreshment area. Now we head back on the trails. Not too far off from the lake area, I visit both Bird and Galax Trail. One of the park's original trail, the Bird Trail is a half mile trail. This trail difficulty is moderate. This park has history of having Union and Confederate soldiers occupying the woods in 1862 for the Battle of White Hall. They also have alternate routes to avoid high water since it floods often during Carolina summer rain. The Galax Trail, which is 0.5 miles. I enjoyed this trail, which featured a wide array of hardwood species. On this trail, you're surrounded by various oak trees and is heavily shaded. The Bird and Galax Trail loop around. You exit back to Lake Trail. We drove to the end of the park and visited the shortest trail at the park. The 350 yard trail, which is also ADA accessible. This 90 foot overlook stands above the Noose River. Take a moment and enjoy the view. If you enjoy this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We post videos like this all the time. Family camping are available at Cliff of the News Park, located near a wooden area near the park office. 
12 sites with electrical hookups, 18 standard campsites, and a wash house with hot water. The campground is open year round and I will post the facility rates in the link below. Overall, we enjoyed our visit to Cliff of the New State Park. Free entrance fee to the park, shaded hikes, and fun activities for families. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.